Hi there. In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up email on your mobile device, such as iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPads. Before we get into this though, you're going to want to make sure that you have Wi-Fi set up on your device. And you can tell because the little symbol up here will be on. If you've yet to get Wi-Fi set up, more specifically, if you've yet to get UCSF-WPA set up, why don't you go ahead and check out the earlier video which shows you how to get set up with Wi-Fi. Once you have your Wi-Fi set up, you're going to want to click on the Settings app. And this is a gray app with a series of gears in it. it. Looks like this. If you're unsure where this app is, maybe you have way too many. What you can always do is with a finger just swipe down anywhere on the screen and open to search. Now we could see settings in there, but if it didn't show that, you can always type the word settings or just part of the word, and it will open the settings application. Now that we've opened up the settings, from here you want to scroll all the way down to Mail Contacts Calendar. Tap on that. Now we're going to want to add an account. So click Add Account. At UCSF, our email is a Microsoft Exchange account. So you're going to click on Exchange. Click in the area just to the right of the email field and type in your UCSF email. This is typically your first name dot last name at ucsf.edu. In the description field, you can leave this alone, but for the sake of organization, I usually like to call this UCSF email so it doesn't get confused with other email addresses I may have in my phone. With regard to the password, this is your UCSF email password, also known as your single sign-on my access password. Tap the next button and it's going to go through this verifying process. It usually takes about 15 seconds. Okay, now for the part that's not usually very intuitive. You're going to click on server and type mail.ucsf.edu. Now under domain, as long as you're a campus employee, you're going to type campus. And your username, this is typically going to be your first initial last name. If you have a very common name like John Smith, it could be jsmith3. This is something that you should hopefully know in advance. If you don't know, there's a way to find this out in your Microsoft Outlook email on your desktop computer. Assuming you know it, let's enter that in now. And once again, the same password. This password is your email password. It's your My Access password also referred to as a single sign-on password. Once you've finished doing that, you're going to click on the top Next button on the right side and hopefully see a bunch of blue check boxes. Perfect. Go ahead and say Save. And you've now successfully added a UCSF email. Last step is I like to scroll down and where it says sort order under contacts, by default this is actually on last comma first. I like to put it on first comma last because I don't usually know people's last names as well as I know their first names. Up to you. Now it's just a waiting process. Usually about five minutes or so, your mobile device is going to sync with the server and suddenly you're going to have a bunch of emails here in the mail app. There we go. In addition, your calendar should now also have meetings added. Hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching.